Hello and welcome to Python Fundamentals. In this course, we learn the underpinning Python programming skills, preparing for our journey towards mastering the Django framework and the Python programming language. This tutorial is part of a series of tutorials. You can find the link to the whole playlist in the video description. This tutorial is from our Python Programming Fundamentals for Django Developers course, which you can find and purchase on Udemy. You will find all the latest and updated tutorials, as well as resources and assessments to help accelerate your learning of the subject. The link to the course, which will always provide the best price, can be found in the video description. So having now prepared our new form by defining the form in a new forms file and utilizing an existing model to generate automatically our form, we now need to actually place this form onto our template. Okay, so starting where we left off from the previous tutorial, we've created a new form. Okay, and now we need to render this onto our template. So this can be done by, first of all, creating a new, let's just call it a variable. Okay, so let's capture our form. So let's call this form set equals, what does that equal? Well, it equals our form. Okay, so we now have essentially captured this information, this form here, and this form describes the fields that it's going to display. Okay, so we've captured that, and now what we need to do is we need to pass that over to our template. So let's call this form set. And then the data is going to be from the form set variable here. Okay, so now we passed it over to this template. We can now access it via this context here. So let's go into our add new .html page and let's now add our new form. So here we're just following a basic implementation. Of course, there's many different variations. It's well worth looking at the Django documentation if you're looking for a slightly different outcome. But let's go ahead and create a, a form tag. Okay, so this is going to describe now a form within this set of tags here. The first thing that we need to decide is the method of transport. So here we have two options, post and get. If you haven't come across developer.mozilla.org, it is a great resource to learn about web technologies. HTTP request methods are instructions. For example, every time you navigate to a web page, you're sending a HTTP request from your browser to the server. Now that type of request will be handled differently based upon the type of request you send from your browser. Now, typically when you navigate to a web page, you're sending a GET request. You're sending a HTTP GET request to request the resources based upon the URL that you've typed in. That will return the web page that you've requested. Now, that isn't the only type of request that you might want to send. In the case of our form, we want to send data to our web server. So we're going to need to send a different type of HTTP request. So in this case, we have the post. So the post method submits an entity to the specified resource. Essentially, what we're doing here is we're sending the information related to the user's form over to the server. And we do that through a HTTP post request. So in our form here, we need to describe the type of method we want to use, and that's going to be post. Like you would post a parcel or a letter, we can post data from a form. Okay, so in a form, we normally have inputs. Now here we don't actually need to define the inputs because they will automatically be generated for us. So we just define the form set now remember, this is a word that is associated to the form that we've created. So we inputted the form, imported, sorry, the form into our view. We've then created a new variable here and stored that form here in this variable called form set. And we passed that through this context here 
over to the template. So what we have now is we've specified that we want to now create all of the inputs associated to that form that we've described in the forms.py. So it's going to output three fields. Those fields are connected to our models. So by that, I mean that each of these fields correlates to a different data type. So with that in action, let's go ahead and run our server to see if our new form is working. So we'll run the server. So it looks like we have an invalid syntax, so it's a syntax error here. So I'm going to add a comma here after this add new.html template defined. So we can now see the server is running. So let's go back to the web here. Let's go back to our page and refresh. And you can now see we have a nice form. So notice here that the form has been automatically generated. But in addition to that, you can see that this is a number form. It does offer this um, unnecessary, in this case, uh, ability for us to actually change the numbers. Okay, so there we have our form. In addition to this, we are going to need to be able to submit our form. So we need some sort of button that the user can press to actually submit this data. So let's go back into our form, into our template. Let's uh, create a new input. So we'll create a new input here. And then type equals, we go for submit. And then we can add a value to it if we like. It's kind of irrelevant. OK. And then we'll close that. We'll go back into our page refresh and reload. We now have the button. So that's a basic implementation. Like I said, there are other methods, other tools, other ways to implement this form. Notice that our form set has been formatted so that each input is next to each other. You probably want to stack them so you could add some additional CSS and other tools to do that. So let's now move over to actually saving our data from our form to the database.